that's what we're going to have to get to because what's going to happen is all of these women in their 40s in 10, 15 years, they're going to be golden girls. Right. Living in the house like Blanche and them. So polygamy is going to be the way for survival. Mm. So that it's going to happen regardless if men are prepared or not. It's just going to happen. Now, as a person who was married 12, 13 years and moved a second woman into the house, women will always say it's for sex. It's for sex. So people think that, hey, man, let me tell you something. Three women can't handle my sex drive. Mm. So you mentioned something I, I think is very important that, you know, from someone in your, who you're from your perspective, because you said when you first met your wife, you told her, hey, this is this is the situation, so on and so forth. And you said your daughter is actually by someone other than your wife. Yeah. Does that does that mean that you're currently in a polygamous situation or was that just for your daughter? Yeah, yeah I, uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a polygamist. I believe in polygamy. Uh, my second wife, Lynn, shout out to Sunny Bunny. She uh, moved in probably about well, right now, about right now, five years ago. Okay. Uh, probably about four months ago, she went to Texas. Her parents got sick. Okay. So she's down there taking care of them. But uh, yeah, we all lived in the house uh, together. You know what I'm saying? Sister wives, no problem. Uh, but my, my my daughter's not by her either. Me and my wife chose a. a uh, a mother for my daughter because think of it like this, bro. She tied her twos when she was young. After she, I ain't got nothing to do with that. Right, right. That ain't my fault. Now I want to be your husband. I like you. I want to be with you. But just because you tied your twos, she said, "Well, one day we can untie them or try in vitro or something." I said, "Yeah, but what if we ain't got the money at the time?" Right. So she said, "Well, I'm willing to." Let's think about it, this, bro. How many men out here? are taking care of children that, that are not theirs or in relationship with women that have kids. They don't want to have any more kids or can't have any more kids. And this woman is sitting here, don't want this man to reincarnate himself through right. procreation. See, I waited to have my child. I told my wife when I, I said, well, look, we'll raise your sons. And when, you're, when, when your youngest son move out and graduate, we'll have me a baby. I had brothers, friends, and family members say, man, don't you do that. That woman going to do this. That woman can just abandon you after you raise her kids. Do your dick, I mean, do your meat work? You shooting tater water? Why you ain't got no kids? And I'm like, hey, y'all accidentally had them kids. Y'all ain't right. want them babies. I waited. So with me waiting and the decisions I made and waiting, that's why my daughter lives with me. Mm -hmm. come home to me her mother called me and said hey can i see her? i said yeah come get her it's it's different and kanye west can't do that it's about mm -hmm. the choices and the decisions you make in life so mm -hmm. my daughter is by a woman that my wife and my other wife chose gotcha. that they could get along with yeah definitely so what's what's your thoughts i know you said you're pro polygamy for the fellas who for the, for the men out there because it obviously this has become a, a popular topic as of late yeah What's your thoughts on pretty much every a lot of men thinking that it's something that every man should be able to do or that it's just that easy or it's like they're entitled to do it? Well, it's not easy and no one's entitled. But, you know, the Bible in Isaiah 4, 1, if you have some uh, mediator, somebody, the Bible said Isaiah 4, 1, in the last days, seven women will run to one man. Mm. And these seven women are going to say we got our own food, clothing and shelter. Only let me be called by your name to take away my reproach. Right. So the Bible is a book that's written. It's prophecy. It's predicted. But the folks that written it, that wrote it, knew it was going to get like this. So now you got seven to one. These women got their own jobs, own houses, cars, and everything. All they need is a man. Mm. And they want to be called by a man's name. That's why a woman has no problem saying I'm the side woman now. Back mm. in the day. So now, especially with COVID, these guys you messing with wouldn't come cut your grass, wouldn't change your tire. So what I'm saying is polygamy is going to be the way because we have a generation of women who are not going to have a man. So these women are already polygamous. Now, peep this. Just let follow me. No, nah, you good. You got a baby daddy. You got two baby daddies. He got two baby mamas. 
Why don't y'all come together and figure this thing out? They mm. make it into a sex situation. It's communal living. It's right. a family orientation. It is not a sexual orientation. So I'm all for saying, hey, all y'all single mothers, the, the nurses and the teachers and stuff, won't y'all get together and buy a house and live together and raise y'all kids together? Mm. So my thing is this, where I came up with the idea when I was coaching football, I'm coaching eight, nine. Well, I'm coaching a team, but I got eight, nine little boys I'm picking up in my van. All the mothers trying to give me some coochie. Mm. And I'm, I'm hard on a woman. I say, hey, stop trying to give me some coochie and give me five dollars of gas. Give me some money to get some bread. Let me get your food stamp card. I got these boys in my house feeding them. Mm -hmm. And that's when I realized I said, man, I could be the daddy to all these boys. Right. And that's when it came alive. That's what we're going to have to get to because what's going to happen is all of these women in their 40s in 10, 15 years, they're going to be golden girls. Right. Living in the house like Blanche and them. So polygamy is going to be the way for survival. Mm. So that it's going to happen regardless if men are prepared or not. It's just going to happen. Now, as a person who was married 12, 13 years and moved the second woman into the house, Women will always say it's for sex. It's for sex. So people think that, hey, man, let me tell you something. Three women can't handle my sex drive. Mm. Women don't like no big meat and women don't want to be sexed all the time. Women have sex with their man to keep them from cheating because they think if he don't get some every three days, he going to run on the outside. Right. But when we get into the realness of it, Women are like animals, man. They ovulating. Uh, if a woman ain't ovulating in, in nature, a man won't look at her. He go find another woman. Right. Something. So women are like animals, but when they're ovulating, they attack a man. You better give me some. Right. I can't help this. So it's a family structure. It's, hey, listen, I tell women all the time and men, hey, me and my wife had an open relationship. Why would I move another woman in to take care? Correct. My wife can tell you that moving the other woman in made our relationship better mm. because you got two women that can bounce off each other. You got another woman can say, yeah, I was acting like that yesterday. You got another woman in here. Right. It, man, it gets cheap. Two women, they like little girls and they do each other's hair, they do each other's nails. One of them do all the cooking and cleaning. One of them do this. And I'm, and I'm the man doing what I do. Right. You see what I'm saying? So it's a family structure. You remember Three's Company? Absolutely. Hey, man, Jack Roper was living in the house with two women, won't even having sex with him. What's <laughs> wrong with us? Why are we so perverted? I I guess we make it seem like it's something new. You know what I'm saying? It's it's. I think social media obviously brought it to light. I know we. I know TV was a social media. Was it was it Jack Tripper? Yeah, yeah, Jack, yeah, Jack, Jack Tripper. Tripper. Yeah, yeah, Jack Tripper was. You know, we had that on television, but now you got all these different channels and pages dedicated to poly so on and so forth but i think that's why because there's so many eyes on it you're looking at it as just a sexual thing yeah a lot of those guys are charlatans if he's not married to one of the women see i'm physically literally married to one right and then move the other one in you know what i'm saying it, it's a difference and then how long can you do it you know what i'm saying mm. uh a lot of stuff is faddish man we we get into these fads in our in our community and we have a lot of guys that are charlatans we do have a lot of guys like i said seven to one you got a lot of women out here mm -hmm. that's got they self together that's got incomes then you get old big tall handsome smooth nigga or some excuse me some guy that's got abs and he on there talking with his shirt off talking prison talk yeah. these women become sexually attractive to these men right. and they get into those situations and those situations don't last you know how deep my inbox is of women saying i'd be your other wife or i'd be your other wife just based on a, a sexual attraction for me right anytime a man gives a woman great advice and how to deal with her life or her kids a woman going to repay you with the only thing that she's Facts. born into the world to repay you with Facts. that's her body she come into the world complete hmm. we got to grow and get strong and earn she come in with her ovaries as a little baby right so Polygamy is going to be the new way regardless of, of how it goes. And we already, man, we already, granddaddy always had three, four women, man. And grandma always had the last child was light-skinned or dark-skinned. 
and granddaddy knew it. It's like granddaddy had 13 children. He jet black, mama jet black. The last right. child, your complexion. Granddaddy treat that child better so he could say, you ain't hurt me by having the milkman, baby. Right, you right. I'm saying? So, and even in now, even now, we have situations where we have women sharing men. Mm, indeed. Absolutely. Everybody getting pregnant, but everybody ain't married. So we Absolutely. already sharing men. We just, we just, uh, don't want to be out in the open with it. But we already sharing, man. We've been sharing these women. I think when a woman is a little girl, I got to say, and I don't know if you heard me say this, four-year-old girls are stronger than grown women. Because when you was a four-year-old girl, you asked a four-year-old girl, who your boyfriend is? She said, JR. And yeah. another one said, JR. And the other one said, JR. And you said, I got five girlfriends. And all your little girlfriends out there playing hopscotch together with no problem. Mm -hmm. It's only when they get older and somebody get a perm or somebody get some little breasts or a little booty that they start to get mad man women don't care about that stuff man yeah. as long as they can get the time in that they need women don't care about this i i know this simply by being a player yeah ego. just being real women right. don't care about that stuff i ain't that no more but i know this by being a player bro yeah that time exactly you right it's god's true beef maker and i don't know i put a light in the sky for the g's that done turn memory from go Blessings we send to the ghetto you them